Navadi has recently announced two deals around your stablecoin services. Talk us through it. We've been able to announce uh, partnerships with both Stellar and Ripple, two of the major uh, cross-border uh, blockchain networks, both based out of Silicon Valley and both with very high market capitalizations relatively. Uh, Ripple we've done a lot of work with in the past for cross-border payments and Stellar we had started on a blockchain program with them a number of years ago but now we're really bringing uh, it to life. So we're building a multi-chain stablecoin service initially on both the Ripple and Stellar chains and in fact what's a great thing is both Ripple and Stellar are largely funding the development work and even some of the marketing work that we do to get our stablecoin service out. So the stablecoin will be a dollar for dollar backed uh, Australian dollar stablecoin. So uh, we are a licensed company. We will be running our funds in trust accounts. And then we've got a, an Australian dollar stablecoin uh, named AUDC, uh, somewhat in line with the nomenclature of, of the US stablecoin USDC. I know. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, you know, I come back with that video just to make you think. And the NWO is putting it all together. We're starting to see testing grounds, places in the United States, other countries, Ukraine, Australia. We're starting to see the foundation here. We know stable coins are the foundation of this new digital economy. The reason why? Because they're nothing but digital dollars. It keeps the central banks in control. And then on top of that, we know that Stellar and Ripple are going to be moving these stable coins globally. Remember, we're going to have a global, and remember the crypto teacher told you this, we're going to have a global universal basic income. And remember what David R3 stated, if you want to boost the economy. And remember, we're going to need the global economy boosted because we see the Fed is raising rates and shrinking the balance sheet, which of course is going to shrink liquidity out of the market, which is going to create mass layoffs, put people out of work. And of course, their solution is the robots, algorithms, and drones. Remember, the NWO works on problem, reaction, solution. And they're going to airdrop this free money. And they're going to have three to six months to spend it, or poof, it's gone. Guys, we know these stable coins are programmable. And once the machines take over the economy, the sheep are going inside the metaverse. Now, 2023 is going to be very important. That's because Federal Reserve 2.0 will be launching on blockchain. Ethereum is so important to the banking sector. Moving over from proof of work to proof of stake will help these private blockchains. We know the central banks don't want us to see anything, but they're going to track everything that you do. Remember, blockchain gives the NWO the all CNI. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new road order, it's all planned out. You have a wonderful day. Positive. Like three cheers. <laughs> for the two female senators from either side of the aisle. It's, it does a couple things. It says this is bipartisan. And so that's a big positive. I think the bill laid out pretty much what the industry would like, which is just transparency and clarity. Um, you know, is it going to get passed? No, it's not. But it's a great starting point uh, for the negotiation and for the discussion. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, earlier today, the merge happened on the Robston testnet, which was traditionally a proof of work testnet chain for Ethereum. And uh, it merged with the Robston Beacon chain, uh, creating a simulation of what will happen later on this year for the real merge that everyone talks about. Um, sort of significant because it went off without a hitch and it's very promising because it uh, leads us to believe that the real merge will go smoothly uh, when it does happen. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers.
friends in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort. And China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.